What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Night for Kicks. I'm back with another review today. Baby, let me change your life. You want to see it can be anything you want, baby. Um, did that feel just a little bit familiar to y'all? Like, I'm... I'm very confused and we're gonna, you know, go through and unpack all of this, but guys, it's your girl, an eye for kicks. Um, we are back with another video. This one is going to be a little bit different. Normally I like to stay very neutral. You know, I don't like to point fingers at anybody or, you know, talk about drama. I like to stay about the sneakers, about the clothing, about the community, but Sometimes you just gotta step outside of that comfort zone and it is very necessary. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and give a very overdue shout out to By J Labs. He's on Instagram. Um, he's, you know, you've seen, probably seen some of his shirts on people like Jumperman Chris, which is where I first saw the shirt. And he happened to reach out and was like, hey, let's, let's do something, let's collaborate. So code and I, is going to all, you know, capital A, capital E, none of that upper, lowercase mess, but um, Code and I will save you a little bit of money on the shirt. I mean, if, you, if you're already following your girl on Instagram, you've already seen, you know, the posts. I just did some posts today. Um, I've got some more coming. I did like a whole like little photo shoot. It's kind of dope, but the shirt is phenomenal. I mean, it's got graphics, you know, top and bottom front to back like you'll see them on instagram again go go follow your girl there um but not only are the graphics like top tier but the quality i mean these shirts are so soft and there are some bigger brands out there that are using way less quality shirts you know who i'm talking about those of you that are into that um, i'm largely into it but the shirt quality is not great um, I did also go ahead and get the Kobe version as well. This one's obviously Jordan. Um, it's it's amazing. Like to do the details, the graphics, front to back on the sleeves. Like this is next level, guys. Do not sleep. Again, it's by J Labs. I will go ahead and um, put the link in the description below for y'all. Make sure you go grab a shirt. You know. If you're not feeling one of these two, there's a couple others, but like you're either a Kobe fan or you're a huge Jordan fan, like there's gonna be something for you. And they fit, they have a nice oversized feel to them. These are a size large. So I do like that as well. Um, amazing shirts, guys. Oh, and I wanted to show y'all, y'all know your girl is a sucker for good detail. So I did wanna show y'all even like the little label on the bag and everything just the way it's packaged. He didn't miss a single detail, guys. So go ahead, go over there, use code and I, save yourself some money and grab a couple of dope t-shirts for your, you know, to go with all your shoes, your dope fits. Um, so now that we've gone ahead and giving proper recognition, let's go ahead and give some other recognition to someone who feels like they might just be biting off your girl's brand um and i can say brand because the name an eye for kicks roman numeral but it's still four like it's it's the number four it's just a roman numeral it is trademark my name my logo it's all trademark it is my brand it is my business um it will never be an eye for like the number four kicks so this is the original the one and only and we have somebody kind of biting off of all of that. So I'm trying to bring myself down because it's, it's easy to get worked up because the thing is, is I trademarked it for this reason and I wanna make sure that y'all are not following the imposter thinking that is me because this has already started happening. So I was notified, I don't know what, like back in December or so that like in a, I'm in a bunch of different Facebook groups. Y'all know it if you've been following me, if you've been watching, um, I talk about these groups all the time on Facebook. And all of a sudden I started getting all these tags, all these screenshots like, hey, there's somebody in this group that's got your name. And like people are like, isn't this your name? An eye for kicks? Like what's going on here? The logo happens to be an eye. Granted, it doesn't have sneakers in the eye, but it's still an eye, like it's still, eerily like similar and I don't know guys like let me know as I go along with this whole story of what's going on 
let me know in the comments below like do you guys feel like this is like I'm, I'm being you know scammed or it's a fraudulent thing like do you feel that I'm in the right for how I feel should I go ahead and send like a cease and desist letter let your girl know in the comments below I'm not trying to determine how anybody should feel or your opinion on it I'm just laying it all out there for y'all but stick with me because it is it is a, a process so anyhow so I'm, I'm getting these people that are telling this guy and they're tagging me to the the comments hey you know this name is already out there she's pretty well known within the community like you need to watch yourself type of deal and he's like oh he acts like he doesn't know who I am or, oh, it's not the same name, but you literally are using a number four instead of a Roman numeral. Like it, it reads the same, it, it is the same, but okay. Um, and then you wanna use upper and lowercase letters all within the name because that's gonna make a difference. Okay, um, so for somebody that feels like they're not doing anything wrong, those posts started disappearing really, really quickly. Um, more quickly than when they popped up. So then he decides he's gonna go ahead and make a group. Cause at this point I had dismissed it. I'm like, okay, he's not a threat. It's not a big deal. Like it's not the end of the world. People still know me for who I am and my content and my name. So then I had a friend reach out and was like, hey, is this you? And of course it's an eye for kicks. It's that the little eyeball that reads funny on the merch and whatever. And so uh, a group had been created on Facebook. So I guess we got tired of people in other groups letting us know that that name is already in use by someone pretty well known. So we decided to make our own group, um, which was changed from I for Kicks to an I for Kicks in December. And I, guys, I'm, I'm giving you receipts as I go. Like I've collected everything that I can because I don't want anybody to be like, oh, she's, you know, she's nitpicking or she's doing this, that, and the other. Like your opinion is your opinion, but I would like to know it in the comments. Um, so let's see. So we've created our own Facebook group and we obviously have a YouTube channel and we've got some merch going on, um, which is a brand that has been created by this person, which is funny because your brand is awfully similar to my brand, which again is trademark. Great. So let's see, where are we at now? We've got the Facebook, we've got the YouTube. So I never watched any of the YouTube channels. I have heard um, from multiple different people that, you know, it. obviously if you look through this person's uh, YouTube, it's, it's sneaker reviews. The content's pretty on par with what your girl does. Um, I've heard that there may or may not be fakes involved on this channel, um, which obviously looks really bad because if anybody doesn't know how I spell my name and they go to that page and you're not paying attention or you just start watching this guy's stuff, like I don't want to be affiliated with any possibility of fakes. Like I work hard to not have that, you know, cross anybody's mind when they think of me, my collection, my content, any of it. Um, but that's, you know, that'll happen. That's besides the point. People will think what they want to think when it comes to authentics versus fakes. Sometimes jealousy just plays into that. But anyhow, I think the most shocking part of the YouTube channel and the videos was the intro, which y'all already saw, but it's your boy and I for kicks. Like, where, where have I heard that before? Oh, that's right. Cause that's how I've been starting my videos on my channel for the past, what, four years that I've had this channel. If you look at the receipts, um, Homeboy has had his channel since December of 2023. So it kind of feels like maybe we've been putting in some research, maybe we've been watching. And then I was like, all right, well, let me see what else I can find. So I'm digging through Facebook, I'm digging through messages. And sure enough, in my messages, I have a chat from this guy from a, what, a year and a half before he even created his channel in December. So let me go ahead and just read the conversation that took place. Again, this is June 28, 2022. That is a full year and a half before the YouTube channel was created. And I'm gonna go ahead and read this right now for you. So I get a, you know, a message to me, which is not uncommon. People reach out to me all the time. Uh, they want advice or they just want, you know, 
think that I have pull in certain Facebook groups or you know whatever the case they just want to talk about sneakers whatever the case may be as long as you're respectful about it I got no problem with it so I get a, a you know a message and someone says hey question am I tripping or not I said YouTube that first of all he put angel kicks so and and you'll see as I'm going through it over here um, or whatever side I put it on but YouTube angel kicks and I'm like so I correct it and I for kicks you know IV again I cannot drill this into y'all's brains enough like an I for this is what I get for trying to be too creative with it but you know it's it's still ironic to me that the person who prides themselves on being so creative whether it's with custom sneakers the actual name of my brand my jacket that I wear the way that I do sneaker battles I'm like having it tattooed on my leg like the level of creativity and to have someone be not creative at all and steal like I just it's so ironic but anyhow so I you know I put an eye for kicks and I post my link and he's like yep lol I knew it and I'm like lol and he's like yeah I subscribed to you lol wait or er, pa pause like can we step on the brakes for a second because when you what do you mean you subscribed to me a year and a half before you created your page you subscribe to my channel like that right there is like five red flags like you're you're using my intro your name is virtually the same your logo is a, a knockoff version like I'm so confused at what's going on here because now you're you're doing research a year and a half prior um, and your page was on YouTube which is still there was I love sneakers E Y E love sneakers okay well that would have been fine like why why change it like please go ahead and answer that for me I don't understand why you change it from I love sneakers to and I number four kicks like for, for what I, I don't know you were trying to ride coattails you figured somebody looked up my name anyhow so it's, it's very frustrating guys so and I was like oh well, that's what I get for by trying to be too creative you know and he's like okay just checking sends me a screenshot of my channel to prove to me that he indeed does subscribe to the channel all right cool I appreciate the support but now you're weird um, so I was like, okay, appreciate it. And then that was pretty much the extent of that. Then I get, however long later, just some spammy stuff about, um, trying to make money. And I don't even, I've never even heard of this meet me money making thing, but whatever that's, that's a whole other thing. And that's been ignored, but everything like everything that you're doing mirrors what I've already established for myself. Like, and, and again, it's gonna be, oh, well, the logo's not exactly the same, but it's pretty darn close. Well, the name's not exactly the same, no, but if you read it, if you say it verbally, it's exactly the same. Like just changing the four and how it's written from a Roman numeral to a, a, a regular number four, like that's, that's not gonna fly. Like I, at the end of the day, I think the biggest thing that I want to have happen from this video is to make sure those of y'all that actually like me and my content or you're cool with me or we're friends or, you know, whatever the case may be, I need y'all to know that it is never going to be an I number four kicks. That will never be me. That will never be my name. That will never be my brand because I did also have, um, I had a friend send me on TikTok. This was actually before I, I realized the messages um, sent me that, oh, somebody's got your name on TikTok. And sure enough, it was uh, it was Buddy that had the same name, again, on all platforms. And um, not only does he have a lot of seemingly fake followers, like with the same profile picture, but different names all throughout his followers, um, but on top of that, there are people that I am very cool with and I, I know very well that happen to be following him. And I'm like, what are the odds? So of course I reach out to these people on Instagram. I'm like, hey, I see that you're following this account on TikTok. I just wanted to make sure you didn't think it was me. And guess what? Both people that I've heard from were like, oh, well, they, they followed me and I just hit follow back. And I, I just assumed that it was you. And this is a problem because 
again guys i don't i i don't need people like buying stuff from him or helping you know thinking that it's me you know following it it's not like again i will never be an i number four kicks like that's not me um but i i mean listen i'm gonna keep y'all posted make sure you're subscribed to this channel because who knows how far this thing may really go maybe it'll stop right here maybe that'll be the end of it maybe this video alone along with making it known that there is a registered national trademark on the name and logo maybe that'll be all that it takes to get everything kind of just to go away and i'm okay with that i'd rather not have to pursue anything further we'll make it easy on everybody but you know you never know you can't predict people and what they're gonna do and so we'll see what happens but guys hit that notification bell because you are not gonna want to miss if this thing continues and i will not let you miss it like it's we're just gonna sit here we're just gonna keep talking about it um but let's see in, in addition to this this mess this real versus fake and eye for kicks um i do have some other things going on i do have a potential giveaway in the very near future it's not shoes but it is one of my favorite sneaker accessories um but i'm gonna save that for another video because i feel like this is plenty for y'all right now um but yeah guys as always keep tuning in to see what your girl has her eye on next